Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are doing my slightly belated August and September 2021 favorites. And probably slightly a little bit of October, but not fully October. If you're new to my channel, if you're not seen the series before, I really only do favorites every couple of months because I really want these to be tried and true, fully tested, actual favorites. I can go back and look at any of my favorites videos and still stand behind the products that I talked about in those videos, and that's how I always wanted to be with favorites videos on my channel. I never want to come out with a monthly video just for the sake of coming out with a video, especially now with my less video upload schedule. That wasn't even words. Especially now with my shortened weekly release video schedule. So I have seven makeup products here and a couple of other favorites, mainly some fragrances to talk about. So let's go ahead and jump in. Let's start off with the complexion products. A favorite of mine for a long time has been the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Putty Primer. And I've especially loved this since I'm breaking out down here around my mouth. I still wear masks when I go out in public and when we go out anywhere, except for when it's like a place to eat. And even then we'll wear masks until we like sit down in our spot to eat and then we take our masks off. So because of that, I have still been getting some breakouts down here around my mouth. And what I like to do when I go out in public like that, I only do my eye makeup. I will not do my base makeup, so it's just blank. And then before I put my mask on, I put a little bit of this on and it actually helps fight the breakouts that I have. I also just really like this as a regular makeup primer. It works just as well as the regular putty primer, but it's got the salicylic acid in there. So it's just a little bit better and it just works really well. It's been my favorite for a while now. And right now it's kind of neck and neck of the original putty primer. Next, because I have been breaking out a bit, this is a favorite that's been in quite a few of my favorites videos. This is the Dermacol Makeup Cover, and I have the shade 210, and I've been using this a lot to cover up the breakups, the breakups, <laughs> the breakouts that I've had around my mouth and down here on my chin. I've actually gotten quite a few more down here, but that's because my mask goes all the way down here. So this actually just helps cover it up, and it's my favorite, like, super, super, super full coverage everything and this is actually one of the very first videos on my channel was about dermacol and this is the same tube of dermacol that i've had since back then and i believe that was in 2017 <laughs> and then it's still it's still kicking it still is next this is a little bit of an unusual one but it's been a favorite of mine and i'm surprised it took me this long to do this and i kind of want to do it more often this is the Urban Decay Lipstick in Fuel. This is a part of my Petty Project Pan. If you missed that series, I'll throw it up in the cards. But this is like a warm, not quite a nude on me. It's a little too dark to be a nude on me, but it's essentially a warm nude lipstick. I've been using this as a cream blush and it's beautiful. <laughs> like it's stunning. I like to just kind of put a little bit on the back of my hand and then I go in with my brush and then I apply it and it's really, really nice. I personally like it and I really want to try using this more often with my other bullet lipsticks that I don't get a whole lot of use out of, especially the colors. I think it's going to look so nice, like a, a nice red blush, you know, I, I've got so many ideas, but anyway, so I've really been loving just using lipstick as a cream blush and I definitely want to do that more often. Next, this is something that's been on my favorites or in my favorites list previously, but I want to call out two specific shades that I've started using again recently and I still love. These are the Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Shadows. These are, I think they were limited edition, which is a damn shame because I love these so much. So these are Liquid Shadows and I have the shades Infer Nude and Scarab. Infer Nude is kind of like a pinky nude shade reflect. And then Scarab is like a blue green dream. I love this shade so much. I was able to actually, I panned an entire one of Infer Nude and I repurchased it because I saw on the Sephora website, it was actually the only one they still had left in stock, which is again, a shame. Scarab, I've had to be a little bit more conservative with because I don't want to run out of it, but I love it. The green on this, stunning, absolutely stunning. And these are fantastic when I'm in a rush and I want to do a really pretty eye look, but I've got five minutes because one thing I love about eye looks like this is they're beautiful and they're fun. This took me like 30 to 35 minutes to do and that was kind of just the eyes, <laughs> you know, not the rest of the face. When I'm running late in the morning or when I just want to do something to get out the door or when I'm only doing my eyes and I want to do something quickly so I can just put my mask on and go out, these are great. I just put these on, I do a little bit of a matte shade in the inner corner or the outer V to kind of add a little bit of dimension, mascara, and then boom, I'm done. Literally less than five minutes. These are fantastic. And my only my only anger about these, my only downside is that these are limited edition and I don't think you can get them anymore. Which, shame on you, Natasha. You got one, like, banger, amazing product. Make these permanent, because your other liquid shadows from the reviews that I saw were shit. <laughs> All right, next we've got two 
eyeshadow palettes and these are my two favorite fall eyeshadow palettes that I started I started pulling those out in August I'm not gonna lie I've got the ColourPop Good Sport palette this this is what my fall dreams are made out of again I hate that this was limited edition and you can't get any more and that ColourPop has gone you know ever since this, you know I mean recently yes but ever since this came out kind of yeah I love just like the creativity here do you ever see ColourPop coming out with something like this recently no they have the same rainbow palette and the same dusty ass Disney collab they bring up again and again and again. This was unique. This was beautiful. This is stunning. I had everything about this I love, especially this time of year. I use this year round, but especially this time of year. It is a fall dream. And my other favorite fall palette that I brought out, not only because of the eyeshadows, but I was craving this also as a blush and it came in clutch. It worked so well. This is the Midas Cosmetics Pumpkin Spice Latte Palette. Beautiful, beautiful orange shades in here. Pumpkin Spice. It threw a pumpkin in my face and I said thank you. These top shades are also beautiful as blush. You kind of have to work a, a, your blush brush in there or take a little bit on your finger, kind of rub it on the back of your hand and then go into the brush. But it, it this one not be at all. <laughs> I kind of wish this was a bigger palette. To be frank, I kind of want like a giant pumpkin spice palette from them because any other brand that comes out with a pumpkin spice palette, they're really just warm neutral. So they're not actually pumpkin. I want pumpkin. <laughs> And this gave me pumpkin and it's it's a favorite it's it's been a favorite it will be a favorite all right last to finish us off this is the only non-makeup item and it's a fragrance i want to talk about my favorite recent dossier fragrances most some of these were sent to me in pr some of them i purchased these are just my now everyday favorite fragrances to go to i used to use like more expensive perfumes for like special occasions and then i would use like the bath and body works i'll throw a picture up right here like you know those bath and body works sprays but i've using those sprays since i was like literally like 12 and i kind of still felt like a teenager using them the dossier ones they're dupes for really great fragrances and they make me feel a little bit more grown up but they're still essentially it's a body spray it's a body spray slash perfume and i love it and i want to talk about my three favorites I also, before I get into it, I got a lot of requests to do a dedicated, like, my favorite dossier fragrances video. I am planning to do that. They are sending me a little bit more PR, so I kind of want to wait to get those new products and also test those out. And then I want to do a dedicated video um, either in November or December. I'm trying to time it with a sale they're having. I think they're doing a Black Friday sale or they're doing a sale in December. And I want to time that video so that it goes up and then you guys get not only great recommendations, but you can get them at a steal when they're already a steal because these are all already pretty damn affordable. So... Anyway, let's jump into my current recent favorites. Favorite number one is the one that I did purchase literally the day it came out. This is the Musky Musk scent, and this is the dupe for Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume. And it's, it's stunning. I'm already like 60, I've got 60% of the perfume left because I love this. It smells just like the Juliet Has a Gun perfume, and it just, it's a beautiful body spray. It's not as overpowering. Because literally it has a gun, it's really, really nice, but it is very strong when you put it on. So this is a little, a slightly toned down version of it, but it's it smells almost exactly the same, and I love it. So this is the one I probably, out of all of these, used the most. Next, I love the scent Floral Aldehydes, and this is their dupe for Chanel number no. 5. And I might be lying, because this one I think I have got about 40% left, because I might use this a little bit more than I did the Musky Musk, but this, it smells like Chanel number no. 5, and I've only ever had samples of Chanel number no. 5. But this is beautiful. I love it. It's powdery. It's light. It's it's just perfect. And I love it. I'm gonna sneeze. My last recent favorite is Powdery Hawthorne, which apparently is a dupe for Tom Ford's Metallique, which I have to be frank, I've never heard of that perfume or anything, but this just smells amazing. It smells slightly like the Chanel number no. five, but with a little bit of extra sweetness to it. It's just, ah, uh, this is like a perfect everyday, like work, every day at the office, every day at school perfume. It's light, it's flowery, it's beautiful, it's clean, and it's fresh. That's one thing I love about all of these scents. You could probably tell like between these, they're all very clean and fresh scents. I don't like anything that's too bogged down or heavy, but just like these light, fresh, like almost like fresh linens with like some extra scents added to them. Ah, it's my favorite. So these are my three current favorites from Dossier. And once more, I purchased the Musky Musk on my own because as soon as it came out, I had to have it. And these other two were sent to me in PR. And there we have it. Those are all of my recent favorites. Let me know down below what products you have been loving. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.